Okay. What's up, y'all? Um, it is I. I'm back. So if you know I'm here, you know I have some news. Um, about a particular movie that I've been trying to keep tabs on, and whenever I get the information, what I say, I'm gonna give it to y'all. So if you ain't guessed by now, that's right. I'm talking about uh, Michael Jackson, the Michael Jackson uh, biopic, biopic, however you want to pronounce it. Um, so we got some more news, okay? Now, um, before I get into it, let me just give y'all, um, let, let me give y'all some background on uh, what's going on right now involving the Michael Jackson uh, biopic. So. If you guys don't know, there is a convention that happens every single year called CinemaCon, okay? CinemaCon is, is, is similar to like Comic-Con, where you have all these um, different movie studios. They come out, they bring out, <clears throat> excuse me, they bring out all the new um, projects, all the new movies that they may be slated to come out for this this year or next year, right? Um, all the brand new stuff. Some stuff you may hear about. Some stuff maybe uh, maybe a surprise too. So CinemaCon, um, you know, you have like different studios. You may have uh, Paramount. You may have Universal. You may have Warner Brothers. They all come out. Uh, they bring um directors, producers, actors. They talk about different um movies that is coming out. So um. Yesterday, because I believe it started on the 8th of this this month. I think today may be the last day. I'm not sure. But I know yesterday, yesterday, one of the studios that came out and had their presentation was Lionsgate, right? So, you know, Lionsgate, um, they're known for movies like Saw, uh, John Wick, Hunger Games. Um, I think yesterday so previews and trailers for like borderlines is coming out based on a video game uh they show uh one for um the strangers which is i, I believe either a prequel or a sequel i'm not sure but uh, they show um quite a few movies honestly but it's one it's one that caught i believe everyone who was there off guard because no one knew that they were going to show this but they saved the best for last right you guessed it Michael so the producer um Graham King matter of fact let me let me just let me just uh do this all right so we got to be on deadline it says Lions Lions Gate shows off emotional intense first look of Michael Jackson biopic Michael at CinemaCon I don't think no one knew who was there they didn't I, I, don't, I don't i don't believe no one knew they were going to come out and show this right so what they did was they put together a special trailer slash uh scissor reel for um just for uh cinema con um and they wanted you know to show the people the attendees the audience what they've been working on now keep in mind the movie is not done filming they're still filming the movie they have not even announced who's playing jenny i'm not even sure that they're going to announce who's playing jenny they may they may just surprise us i'm not sure but the movie is still filming so um let me, let me just we're gonna we're gonna get into it but let me read let's let's do a little bit of reading all right and it says yes this just happened to big Cheers. So this is big news. It says producer Graham King showed up to close Lionsgate CinemaCon session in a big way Wednesday, showing off an emotional first trailer for Michael, the Michael Jackson biopic that hits theaters on April 18, 2025. So we, uh, it's pretty much just, we got one year. It's, it's, it's a year away. Uh, it says um, director Antoine Fuqua still is shooting the movie but a first look clip was assembled so like i said it sounds like the last 
maybe not last minute, but it does sound like um they put this thing together just for Cinemacon, just to you know show people like let me show you for the ones because it's it's been it's been a lot of talk. Okay, people, it's Michael Jackson, so you already know if you do a Michael Jackson um biopic, you have to do it right. Like you can't do no no shortcomings, no nothing, and. Of course, um, we do know that one of the, um, uh, um, I'm not going to say one of the, but I'm going to say we do know our um, director who, um, who he did the uh, documentary, I believe it was, was it Leaving Neverland? Surviving Neverland? Something Neverland, right? Where basically it talked about um, some of the allegations and like this whole documentary painted the picture as if Michael was guilty of everything, right? So I believe there's an ongoing um, uh, legal situation going on with that. I'm not going to get into none of that. If you haven't seen it, I don't suggest you watch it, but you know, I'm pretty sure you heard about it. So that's that, right? So he came out and he made some, um, he made some comments about the script. He was saying that the, 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 bio, the, bio, the biopic script it's pretty much fluffing. Pretty much, it's not. It's not going to talk about any of the allegations. None of it, right? None of the controversy. So, um, Graham King came out and said that's not true. But we're gonna we're gonna get into that. So it says, um, like I said, it says that, uh, director Anton Fuqua still is shooting the movie, but a first look clip was assembled. I'm looking forward to giving to the audience a thrill like they've never seen before. This is what Graham King said, okay? Also, he promised the film will cover Jackson's career, his personal life, art history, and musical legacy. It is a story worthy of cinematic presentation, King said. For the first time, fans and generations of moviegoers will come together to get an inside look inside the most prolific artist who ever lived all right so this is we, we can we can pretty much uh i mean it's a michael jackson um it's michael jackson it's a, a michael jackson life story so we know already they're gonna cover everything from when he was a child um his relationship with his father his mother his brothers sisters um on up to when he became mj the king of pop all right so it says um movie yet king said the filmmakers has tried to find the untold version of the story so they've been doing some research i mean i'm pretty sure i mean the jackson family is involved so i'm pretty sure that they want they want to they want to showcase stuff that may surprise us like hey mike mike did that or mike uh used to be like i mean they want to they want to show us a whole another side of michael jackson that the average person would not know also showing i'm saying his just the legacy and why he um was the way he was um it says michael jackson was an enigma full of eccentricity eccentricities if i said that right and talent he said he also was simply a man who lived a very complicated life we know this the movie will get into all of it, including over 30 songs spanning his career. That's a lot of songs. His life on stage and his life out of the public eye. So they're going to get into all of it. He also said, King also said this would be a long feature film. Better be. We're we, we talking about a Michael Jackson movie, so it, it has to be a long feature film. I'm thinking about maybe like maybe three hours, right? The footage begin. Now, now this is where they get into... Um, what they show at CinemaCon, like so. This is basically this is a breakdown of the trailer that everyone saw. All right, so let's get into it. It says the footage begins with scenes of screaming fans and cuts to Jackson as a little boy whose mother tells him, Catherine, there might be some people who think you're different, and that's going to make life a little harder for you. But you never were like anyone else. That's not like something mother would say, especially you know I'm saying, if your kid is Michael Jackson. So it then it says in a voiceover, a grown up Jackson, Jafar, says of performing, it transports your entire being. 
That's what I want the world to feel like. Magic. We all know Mike was was big on the word magic. Um, he he wanted he wanted to be larger than life, which he did become. He did become larger than life. So it says some of the footage shown to the exhibit crowd today at the Caesars Coliseum appears to take place during the off the wall era, as well as that of bad. Man in the Mirror is a key song heard th throughout the movie. So I I, I kind of knew that. I mean, if you listen to the the the, uh, the words to Man in the, in the Mirror, I can see that being like the um the staple for the movie. I, I can see that. Um, it says we also see the pop singer's nephew Jafar perform on the stage as the King of Pop. So they they saw him dancing the whole nine. At one point, his voice over says. When I'm not on stage, everything's feel everything feels foreign to me. So I can't see that. I can see because I mean, if you think if you think about it, Mike was already shy. At least that's that's how we saw him. Like interviews, he was always shy. But when he go on when he goes on stage, it's almost like Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. Like he turns into a completely different person. So you can tell, like on stage, performing, that's what he was most comfortable at. He liked being. He was a, he was a true entertainer or to performance or to performer um to the core so we gonna get all that then it says um a, ver a voice over from what appears to be his mother Catherine Jackson adds you have a very special light so let the light shine into the world this movie this movie this movie is gonna be good I, first of all I, I've seen um, well, I've read people who have saw the footage. They all said that, that they using words like fantastic. Like I'm talking about. Like one person says, "Shout out to John Campier because I watch this. I watch John Campier a lot. If y'all know who John Campier is, he's a um, he's a movie critic. Um, he has a movie show. I watch it all the time. Right? John Campier is one of those guys who, to me, he seemed like he's pretty hard to please. His words were. This movie, or this footage, was fantastic. You, you don't use words like fantastic if it ain't fantastic. He also said that he see this movie being Oscar worthy. So that's like, and the movie not even done yet. See, that's the thing. This movie ain't even done yet. They, they still film it. They just put what they didn't film already together to take it to CinemaCon to show y'all, like, look, this is what we did within, like, the last, what, four months, four or five months? And we still filming. For something to be fantastic, and it's not even done yet, like, the, the, the post-production is not even, like, they still got to do all that. The movie don't come out until next year. So, um, there was no doubt in my mind that this movie, um, like, I was never, I was never scared for this movie. Because of the people that's behind it. You got the Jackson family. Now people they can say what they want to say. Uh, you got the family behind it, so that means they're gonna make it look like whatever. The family knew this man the best. Not to mention you have Jermaine's son, the fire plant him. So, you know, it's gonna be certain if, if you wanna get down to if, if, if listen, if this movie is if this movie is going to get down to the nitty gritty and it's gonna show aspects of Michael Jackson's life that we have not seen of course the family got to be involved because they knew Michael you know what I'm saying? we didn't know Michael like, he was a brother and a son to him so um, again and then you have Antoine Fuqua I mean training day I can leave it at that but you can keep going um, equalizer uh, Emancipation. I like Emancipation. I don't, I don't know about everyone else, but I thought it was a good movie. And I mean, just a list of other like Antoine is is, is a powerhouse producer. I mean, producer, producer and a director. So I, I knew like I'm like, all right, no doubt in my mind, this movie gonna be it's gonna be something, something special. When I say something, I mean like when I say that, I mean something special. I knew this already. So I'm not gonna lie, this makes me even more anticipated to watch this movie knowing that um they show the footage and 
the footage is getting just wonderful, fantastic reviews. We in for some. We we in for some something special. This is gonna be. This one might break the box office. This, this I mean, it's Michael Jackson. So, yeah, yeah. So again, let me know what y'all think. Make sure y'all like and subscribe my channel. Hit the notification button so y'all can know when I do another video. Cause they're gonna have some more news come out, and you're gonna want to tune in. Cause I'm gonna bring it to y'all the way I get it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just like that. So let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Uh, does this news does this kind of ease um, anybody's worries? Was anybody worried about the movie not being good? And if y'all were, does this news um, does it ease it a little bit? Are you looking forward to this movie? I am. I am going to be listen. I'm, I'm going first day. I don't care. First day. I, I got to go first day. I have to go. I got to see this movie. I might see it a few times. So, again, let me know what y'all think, man. Um, I'm going to see y'all soon.